In this video we're going to have a look at how we can display multiple lines of text in a label. We've seen a program very similar to this in previous videos in this playlist. We can see we have the usual three lines associated with TK Inter programs and on this line I'm creating an instance of a label and this instance has got the text line one of text and you can see that the font has been set to times size 32. If I run this program what we will see is this it'll simply display line one of text and that is the text within a label and the label has been packed onto the window. I'm going to amend this program and the amendment is shown below. If you look here you can see that this string is much bigger than it was here. And if we come down and take a close look at this string, you can see here it says line 1 of text. Whereas if you come here, you can see it says line 2 of text. But in between them, you can see we have this slash and the N. Now that is often referred to as an escape sequence, which you can look up yourself. But what I really want to say is what this is going to do is effectively going to position the cursor on the screen because when this program executes this is going to be placed on the label what this will do is then move to the line below and then this will be displayed on the label so if we have a look at the runtime for this program you can see it here and this bit of text has been placed here and this has caused us to go on to the next line and then this is placed here. Let's now consider this program which shows another slight amendment and the amendment is shown here and you can see it says line 1 of text, line 2 of text and line 3 of text and you can see in this position I've got the slash n and I've got the slash n in this position. So this is going to be outputted to the label. This then is going to move the cursor to the line below, at which point this is then output. This will then move the cursor to the line below, at which point this will be output. And if we look at the runtime, it'll look as you can see here. We've got the three lines of text, as you would expect. Now this is an example of a program we've already looked at in this video and when this one runs what we're going to see is the following and the reason we've got two lines of text as you can see in the runtime is because in this position I've got the slash n. If I amend this program as you can see here I have still got the slash n here but there's a tendency for people when they use these things called escape sequences to put a space here and a space here. What we have to realize, if we put a space here and here, it's going to be different in the output that's displayed to up here when we don't see a space either side. So let's have a look at what we get as an output. And you get this. First sight, there doesn't seem to be a difference, but look carefully. You can see here there is a space. Now that's because this string was output and of course there is a space here before we get to the slash n. Have a look at this and you can see there's a space here. Why? Because there's a space in this position in the code. Here's another program very similar to the ones we've seen to date. But if you look in this position here, you can see there's a slash n and another slash n. Now this tells me that we're going to have two line feeds here. We're going to go on to a new line twice, which means that this is going to be output. And then this is going to move the cursor down. And this is going to move the cursor down. And then this line of text is actually going to be displayed. So what we should see when we run this program is what we get here. You see this line of text is appeared here. This then moves the cursor onto this line and then this moves the cursor down again to here and at which point this is placed in this position. Now I talk about the cursor moving down. Well I'm 
not really seeing the cursor in this when it runs, but that's how I like to think of it, as the cursor being moved around within the label. So to emphasize the point, what you can see here, I've got a program with another very slight amendment, and the amendment is shown here. You can see I've got slash n appearing three times. So when this program runs, I'm expecting this to be on the first line, then this to move the cursor down, well I say cursor again, but to move down three lines. And of course this then will be displayed line two of text. So when this program runs, we see this. So let's consider the following snippets of code. Here you can see I've took just a little bit of the code that we've been considered, which is the text bit, and here you can see I've got line one of text, then I've got this slash n, then line two of text, and that'll give us this output here. If we have a look what I've done on this little snippet, I've altered the program by putting two slash n's in this position, and when this one runs, you get that as the output. And then finally, you can see here, I've put three slash n's, three escape sequences, and what you should see is this here. So hopefully you can see that this slash n here is a useful and rough and ready way of ensuring you can have more than one line of text within a label. Now there are other ways of doing this, I'm just showing you this way for the time being. One thing to bear in mind, look at the direction of this slash here. Make sure you do it that way for your code. Don't have it leaning the opposite way. Check out the supporting website for these videos. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter as I issue a tweet every time I upload a new video.